Ever since I became a vintage computer collector in 2011, I wanted to get my hands on one of these. This right here is the first iMac. The Revision A iMac G3 Bondi Blue from 1998. If you're not new to my channel, you know that I already have four iMac G3s, but this one is the most special because as I said, it's the Revision A from 98. The one that started this whole lineup and without this guy, I think Apple wouldn't even be around anymore because they were pretty like almost bankrupt in the late 90s. But this one turned it all around and that's why it's so special. It's also, I think, the Mac where Steve Jobs returned to Apple. And yeah, um, it's quite hard to find in Austria. I know that th those were sold, like m there were sold millions of these. But in the 90s and early 2000s, people in Europe and I think in Austria in general, I don't know about whole Europe, but just generally, there weren't that many Macs. I already said that in my Power Mac G3 video. So that's why these are kind of rare. And when I saw this going online, I had to jump on it. It only cost 25 bucks. And when I saw that it, it has the infrared, <laughs> I just had to get it since this, this is the revision A. And I also had so much goddamn luck. Apart from the really cheap price, the condition this is in is just pristine. There's nothing wrong with it. There is not a single like scratch, no damage at all to it. And uh, it even has the door, which my other tray loader has missing. It has the original keyboard and the, the original mouse and even the goddamn original uh, power cable and of course the bondi blue color and that is called bondi blue because it looks like the water in bondi beach in australia might apart from the bondi blue color uh, it looks basically the same like my other tray loader the lime it also has the ports in there just that this one has the door which also closes and um there you have the cutout for any wires, so a pretty cool solution when it comes to cable management. However, um, I like the solution more on the later, on the, the second gen, where they just had the ports there, so you don't have a door, and you don't have to fiddle around in there all the way. But still, it's a, a very nice and clean look that Johnny Ive always likes to this day. He really likes his clean looks, that's why I removed all the ports and the MacBooks nowadays. But still, this was, I think, his first um, design. Uh, like before that, Johnny Ive was not really known all that well, but this one was the first. And it, I think this is, it's still looking great. I think this design has aged pretty darn well. Sure, it looks retro with the CRT and everything and the old uh, style font. But I think it still looks cool. And that's what makes such a good design. That it looks cool after 10, 20 years. And you know, that's that's nothing easy to achieve. So you really have to give Johnny Ive a thumbs up on the design. Anyway, um, the only real difference you can spot a revision A from a different tray loader is this guy right here, this is an infrared port. And I don't know why they really removed it, probably because nobody used it. I remember infrared using it with my old phones, like in the in the mid 2000s, where we like used to send everything via either infrared or Bluetooth. Um, <laughs> you know, the old flip phones and stuff. So that, that's what reminds me of kind of my childhood, the infrared. But still, I um, haven't really seen it on any other computer, by the way. So yeah, other than this, there is nothing different on the other tray loaders, except the infrared. So guys, um, <laughs> this is, by the way, also the first boot. I haven't booted this up since I put it in here. I just had no time. So I thought, why not do it in the video? Um, I'm told that it works, although I can't really confirm it. Now let's use this awesome uh, power button on the keyboard because to reach this is just way too far so we'll, we'll press this and 
made the bong. That's good. Also heard the hard drive come to life. Let's see if we have a screen. CRT turned on. And we got a picture. We'll turn off this lamp here to see the CRT's condition because after all this is a computer from 98 so this might be worn out but from looking at it this is really sharp actually I have to, like four different IMAX G3s and some of the these CRTs are a little worn and they're a little blurry at some points but this one is looking pretty good for you know such an old screen pretty sharp so this might not have that many hours of usage on it it seems to boot fine it has an OS on it and what looks to me like OS 8 or OS 9, the original operating system it came with, pretty darn cool. <laughs> Unfortunately, the seller didn't give me an uh, original CD or so, an installation disc of OS 8 or something. That would have been really cool to have, but then again, I don't complain. We're only 25 bucks. Such a beautiful iMac, which is also working. Um... This is just an offer you can't resist. <laughs> so let's look about this computer here. And it is, in fact, Mac OS 8.5. So it doesn't get more original than this Mac OS 8.5 with 96 megabytes of RAM. This was the original config. Now let's look into the system profiler. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Yep, there it is. That's the profiler and this mouse. God damn it! I I remember I watched a keynote from this time and Steve Jobs said like, "Oh, this is the most beautiful mouse we'll ever use." But no, it's just a piece of crap, really. It only looks cool. That's the only good thing about it. This design is just awful. But anyway, <laughs> apart from the mouse, this is a pretty nice machine. And there we have it, the 233 megahertz PowerPC G3 processor, the original. The later ones had 266 and upwards. For example, my Lime has 333 megahertz. This um, has 233. And it is a Motorola CPU, by the way, if you didn't know that. Then we got one more. Where is the GPU? Where is the GPU? Not sure. Let's look into the, the hard drive maybe first. All right, it's also here. Not familiar with this old system profile all that much. Uh, let's look here. Graphic card first because it's here. We get the Rage Pro C, apparently. Um, I don't know how many megs of RAM it has, but it should have two to six megs. Then we get the Mac HD, the 4 gig, it's still alive. I don't know how much longer it still will be alive, but there it is. It's 4 gigs, it's still working. So that is the original hard drive. Now the screen resolution is a little low to me. It looks like 800 by 600. 800 by 600, yeah. Let's bump this up to its max resolution of 1024 by 768, which was pretty good in 98. Uh, let's go to monitors. And let's click here. Yep, there it goes. That's the full resolution. And I have to say again, this, this is probably also the best looking CRT I have in my iMac G3s. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's close out of this. It's crazy how the Finder only uses 18 megabytes of RAM. And uh, that is already a little much for only 96 total megabytes of RAM, but still crazy when you think about how times have changed. Those were the 90s. Let's see about the RAM sticks. Um, does it say it somewhere? Uh, we got a Western Digital hard drive and a CD-ROM drive. There's no DVD, nothing, only a CD-ROM drive. Very, very basic. And I don't know if that still works because, you know, after all, this is a CD-ROM drive from 1998. 
And who knows how many times it has, it has been used, but charging from the whole computer doesn't really seem to be all that, that, that worn out, or it has probably not been used all that much. Where is, where are the RAM sticks? Is that somewhere to be found? Here we go, a RAM. We got a 132 and 164 meg module. Not all that much, <laughs> really not. Dim RAM, so kind of laptop RAM. I'm glad they changed that in the in the slot loaders to normal RAM because these dim RAMs are kind of hard to come by and I really need to look out for some more. But I might just keep it in this since this is the original config of the iMac G3. Now, yeah, there's not too much more to show you. I saw an algebra graph here, so let's try to make a graph. I don't know how to use that, by the way. I've never seen this before. Since I know a little bit about al algebra. Can't write F, Fx, okay. No, then how, how do I? <laughs> let's go here. Command C, Command C doesn't work, even though I'm swearing I pressed it. Wait, just, let's just write 12x, it doesn't like x, but it likes k, so let's write k squared and see what it does. No. Huh. There can only be used, oh, there it says. Maybe the X is really broken, I don't know. The Y doesn't work, the C does work. Well, there we have the graph from two, which is just very interesting. I wanna, I wanna make a better graph, I just can't. R, maybe R works, okay. There we have, it's R squared, two R squared, and even a little 3D animation. <laughs> Crazy! Note Mac from 1998 is a little bit of 3D. Now let's do, give it a little more intensive graph. Alright, that's also working. See how that one performs. Okay, no 3D animation, only a stock picture. Huh. Kinda bugs me that there is no 2D view. But uh this is cool looking anyway. <laughs> what is that? Oh, we got okay. Yeah, that's that's actually better. Yeah, that's 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 easier to use. So yeah, this is a basic little graphing program from when was that made? Does it somewhere have about or so? No, 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 not that one. Oh, it doesn't have that. Yeah, since this is a stock program, I think it's also probably made in the late nineties. Yeah, there's not really all that much more to show you that's all that interesting since there is not really all that much. But what we can do is we can get very 90s and we can play a CD. Since I want to know if the CD drive still works, I can play a CD. So let's eject the drive, it comes out, so that's good. Put in a CD. There is the infrared utility. <laughs> There's just not really anything I can use it with. Okay. It plays the CD. But where does it play it? That's an awful song to start with. It really is. I'm just... Okay. 
Stop. Just stop it, please. Man, I thought there were some cool songs on here. But still, uh, that's a pretty basic little audio playback. Um, Apple CD audio. Let's see what... Yeah, I remember this. This was also in OS 9 once. Looks very 90s with this with this style here. Just uh, like an old boombox or so. Let's see. Does it recognize the names? It doesn't. Okay. <laughs> oh, there we go. I think this is as 90s as it gets. I don't care about copyright, by the way, it's just, I don't give a crap about copyright. Let's see how loud these old speakers go. Yep. Alright, um, as, like, the other, I'm actually three trailer. This doesn't sound as good as the, the, the slot loaders, but it works. So here you go, guys. Uh, this is my Bondi Blue iMac G3 Revision A, made in 1998. The Mac that saved Apple, as I think a magazine wrote it. And it's awesome. So I don't know what we will really do with it. Um, maybe install a different operating system although it's it's just cool to have the original OS I think we'll have we'll have a different one here at some point maybe maybe I have to check that uh, th this is very similar to OS uh, OS 9 um, uh, if you are familiar with like the old Mac OS systems do you know what's really all that much different in OS 9 and in OS 8 here apart from the internet capabilities maybe um, we got an old acrobat reader on here we got nanosaur which is this old game I remember also and I got my first G3 iMac it also had this game on here yeah yeah let's let's play that a little bit I have no idea how to play it by the way Since I'm also not all that much of a gamer. Well, I think this keyboard has an issue. I think some keys might not be 100% working. Which is unfortunate, but... This happens, you know, let's, let's write the quick... Brown, oh shit, fox jumped, I don't even have to, I don't even have to write anything more, it, there is a lot of stuff not working, the enter key does work, um, but the space bar doesn't, that's pretty, that's pretty bad, now, now I know why the graphing program didn't write any, any X, because the X doesn't work, but the P does work, so if you remember our 3.1 Windows installation video, the P works! So maybe I can write setup here. I can. Anyway guys, the command key doesn't work on the left side, but it does work on the right side. Yeah, but that's not a problem for me at all. I've got a fully working G3 iMac, I got tons of Apple keyboards anyway. But nevertheless, cool to have it. What? 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 It quacks. <laughs> the fuck? What was that? <laughs> There's a duck inside the iMac. Okay, guys. <laughs> Without further ado, I will close out this video. Maybe you will see a cool project with it at some point. Maybe when the hard drive bites the dust, which can be any time since it's so old. But yeah, until then, see you later.